guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name's Janelle and I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the hairstyle that I have been wearing in every single video. It's my go-to lazy girl hairstyle when it's like that third, fourth day here and I need to wash it, but I'm too lazy and I don't wanna look like a hot mess. I wanna look like I tried, but really I'm not trying at all. That has been my motto this whole quarantine. So if you guys wanna see my kind of like wet hair, kind of like summer beachy wave look, the hair look I've been doing the most lately, definitely please keep watching. I did do a video on this last year. However, like the tools that I use and the products that I use are completely different. I like this version so much more, so I wanted to show you guys a more updated version. Super easy. Also, if you guys like my eyes in this video, these are from lens.me.com. They're the Celotica lenses in ochre, and I believe they're the natural core ones. I'll leave them linked down below, but they're just my favorite. They, these are also my favorite for wanting to look like I'm put together when I don't want to do too much with my makeup. I feel like this makes a statement without having to do too dramatic eyeshadow. So between the hair, the contact lenses, I'm good. I'm looking like I'm trying. I'm really not. So anyways, without any more rambling, let's jump into the video. Alright, so first things first, you want to apply heat protector spray. I currently ran out of mine, so I'm not going to spray any, but please do as I say and not as I do. That way your ends don't end up looking super dry like mine do right now. Once you apply your heat protector spray, go ahead and brush your hair through. I like to use this wet brush, that way I don't like tug at my hair too much, and that way it doesn't cause like unnecessary breakage. And then I like to like split my hair down the middle and have like two sections like this. And then I go ahead and split those two sections into two more sections. And pretty much I'm just breaking up my hair into four sections. So I'm gonna start by tying up the top two sections. That way they're out of the way. And with this hairstyle, I like to take fairly large sections and work in larger chunks. Just because this is like my go-to lazy hairstyle where I wanna look like I'm trying, but I'm really not trying at all. I feel like that is the um, motto for my life. I also picked the wrong shirt to do my hair with because these sleeves are so restricting. Like. I'm literally sweating right now just tying my hair up. So once I have my hair split like that, I go ahead and just crimp each side. To crimp my hair, my favorite hair crimper of all time has to be the Bedhead Wave Artist Deep Waver. It looks like this. And I just love this. I find that this gives really beautiful waves. It gives you a more defined wave that I find ends up lasting a lot longer than like those three barrel crimples that are, crimples, <laughs> than the three barrel crimpers that a lot of people use. I've used them before. They give you a very subtle wave, but me personally, I like a more defined wave. And then that way it will last longer because it'll kind of like go down as the days go on. And when I crimp my hair, I like to do it this side. So like this front part, I have it facing down and I crimp my hair like that. What I also love about this being such a deep wave is that I don't have to hold it on my hair as long. My hair will pick up that wave a lot quicker. These waves also look beautiful without any like mousse or product in it. So I don't know, I've just really enjoyed this crimper and it's only like 25 bucks. You can get it from Walmart, you can get it from Amazon. They sell it pretty much everywhere. And I just take like literally ginormous sections to make the process so much quicker. I hold it there for about like five to eight seconds. The longer you hold it, the more defined your wave will be, and then the shorter you hold it, the less defined, but you can see how pretty and how deep of a wave. So once I do that, I just meet right where the wave ends, and I just work my way down. For me, this is like one of those things where you don't have to even think about it, like you just kind of like go with the flow. It's not like where you, when you curl your hair, you have to like, I don't know, think about it way more of this. It just does the work for you, it's super simple. And I just, this is my go-to greasy hair hairstyle. For the bottom sections, I'm honestly pretty lazy. Like I take huge chunks just cause I know that this won't be shown as much. As I get to the top though, I will be a little bit more picky with how long I'm holding the wave and how big of se sections I've taken. Perfect. So then I just work my way through this side and there's really no rhyme or reason. Just take as many or as small of sections as you want. All right, so once I'm done with this section, I'm gonna put it to the back and then take down my top sections. And normally for these top sections, I'll break them up into like two different chunks just to make it easier once I'm crimping. So I'll like flip this side over and then we're just gonna keep crimping away. All 
All right, so this whole side is done. You can see how pretty the waves are as is without adding any extra product. Like, I love wearing my hair like this. I just feel like it gives so much extra like texture and volume. And like, even if you were to do another simple hairstyle, like a ponytail or like half up, half down, just adding this texture makes your hair look so pretty and voluminous. And I'm just obsessed. So now we're gonna finish up this side so we can move on to the next step. So this last section, I got really lazy, so I took an extra large chunk, but I wanted to show you guys how you can make it work because if you take a really large section with this waiver, you would just hold it a little bit longer than the eight seconds. You might hold it like 10 seconds and you're still gonna get that super defined wave without having to <laughs> do even more sections. Literally, that's why I love this tool because it's just perfect when I'm lazy, I want my hair to look done, but quickly. And I don't wanna be just doing my hair for hours. This. This is the tool for you. See, and it still gave me really pretty defense. So I don't even have a mirror. I've been using the viewfinder <laughs> to do my hair. But as you can see, the waves are just very big, voluminous, and pretty. And to be honest, they're a little bit softer than mine normally come out just because I was taking such larger sections. So if you wanted the curls more defined, just take smaller sections and hold it for longer. But the reason that I wasn't so big on like how perfect the waves came out was because I wasn't gonna leave my hair like this. If I wasn't gonna put product in it, I would definitely take more of my time, take smaller sections, but we're gonna go for that wet hair look to disguise some of the grease up here. You know what's crazy? I find that even when I wave my hair with out adding mousse or hairspray, I still feel like the top of my hair, once it's at like third, fourth day hair, like you can't tell as much as if I were to curl my hair with a curling iron. If the top of my hair was even slightly greasy, I feel like that shows way more. So now what I like to do is I'll part my hair however I want it. Right now it's kind of like side center part, not completely to the side, but not completely in the center. This is normally how I like to part my hair. And I'll take my Aussie Sprunch Mousse and Leave in Conditioner 24 hour curl lock with jojoba oil, with jojoba, I think that's how you say it, and sea kelp. It's a flexible hold, which is what I really like because it allows me to get that kind of wavy, wet texture without my hair feeling like it's gonna like take someone's eye out. So I just shake it up and I take a good amount at like the palm of my hand like this and I work it more in my fingertips and then just kind of like work it down my hair like this. I'm not gonna like full on like scrunch my hair or anything. I just wanna softly work it through. That way it'll give me that wet look without being in like globs. Like, you know what I mean? When you scrunch it, you put too much gel and it's like, it just looks like you have like four strands of hair. <laughs> I'm gonna take some more and just slowly add it. I like to do it in small portions at a time versus taking a whole bunch of mousse all at once because if you put too much at once, it's harder to like remove it. Whereas if you slowly add it, you can just add a little bit as you feel like you need to. I'm taking a third little part and I'm gonna get more of the back section this time. So I'm literally just working it through and then once I have like barely anything left, that's when I like to just kind of like scrunch the bottoms like this. So that way they still get that more wet texture. And then now I'm just gonna scrunch the hair like this. Not like this, like this. I find that when I scrunch it upward, it just makes it like look frizzy and just, I don't know, not as cute, so I scrunch it kind of like this way. Need a little more here. This part looks a little bit dry, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more mousse there. Make sure you get it from underneath too. Don't only put the mousse on top, kind of like comb it underneath through like that. And then I wanna get the ends just a little bit more. So see, I'm like adding a good amount of mousse. I'm just not doing it all at once. And again, when I get the ends, I'm just kind of like scrunching it coming from each side like this. After I do that, I like to go in with my hairspray. I use the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine hairspray. I like this one also because it doesn't leave your hair feeling super crunchy, but it does hold like the wave. So I just lightly mist it. I also try to get the top and my hair will still have movement to it. Like it doesn't feel crunchy, but you're left with more of that sleek look to it. 
All right, so now we're gonna do this side. Again, I take it on each hand and just kind of like comb it from the front and the back and then just scrunch it a little bit. Oh yeah, another thing too, if you have shorter bangs, I like to scrunch it into the hair. I hate when I have like the wavy bangs just separate from the rest of my hair. Like if it's, I don't know, separated, to me it just doesn't go with the vibe. So always scrunch it so that it blends in with the rest of the hair. And then I'll like spray it in place. And now I like to take some hairspray on my hands like this, rub it together and then just comb any flyaways. All right. Then last but not least, I like to take like a spoolie or old toothbrush. This one's just my benefit one. Scoop down some baby hair. So I just kind of like come here and then swoop it, spray it, brush it down and swoop. Same thing to this side. I just kind of brush it down, hold it with my finger, and then spray it, and then shape it again with the spoolie. Like that. It's so weird that this hair trend is like back and acceptable because I feel like this is how I did my hair every day in like the sixth grade. All right, you guys, and here you have it. That wraps it up for the ultimate lazy girl hairstyle when you just want to look like you tried, but really you're not trying at all. You can go a couple more days with this hairstyle before washing it, and it just looks very summery and beachy, and you look put together, but really you're just being very lazy. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see next. I love you all so much. I pray that you all stay safe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when I upload. Have a great day. Bye. Love you guys.